everything auto. Hey, y'all, this is. I don't know if I've called you guys already. I've pretty much called everyone. Um, I'm out here on Timber um, Timber Lodge Restaurant. Um, I'm not needing to be towed, but do you guys have like roadside service or anything? I have a frozen parking brake. Mm, yeah, I don't. I don't have any any spot for that. That would have to something that would have to go to a shop. Um, yes, sir. Now, um, how much is that like price wise? Uh, it just depends on what shop you're trying to get towed to. Um, all right well thank you so much i'll try some different um towing companies and i'll keep you guys in mind okay thank you all right thank you sir so they've called me several times the problem today is you know it got down four degrees or whatever and we're doing rolling blackouts and most shops don't have power uh, we're trying our best to to rescue some people today we just now got away i came up here to do one that was slid off and, and i come around the corner and it's just complete ice on the back side of this mountain over here but um instead of being a total loss i'll get out and give you guys the icy mountain view while i'm up here we'll at least we'll at least give youtube the view i mean it's absolutely amazing a little snow on the mountain it's about 11 degrees now i think here uh that's uh Westgate is what you're seeing there. Most of the cabins are Westgate in the background. Uh, Mount LeConte on the other side of that. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna risk going down the other side. Um, that road was on the back side of, of this one where the guy was supposedly uh, in the ditch and I was hoping to catch a glimpse of him on the top side of this road. But I don't think that's gonna happen. But anyway, guys, that's today's view. Maybe we'll get some more of those views. So stick around. Stay tuned. All right, guys. This is another one. Uh, another one we got to here. I mean, the roads are fantastic up on the sun side. Um, all of this upper stuff is good where we came from. And then we get uh, about a half mile from the recovery, and it's pure ice going down this, going down this slope. I don't even know. I probably should put my feet chains on somebody got right there and, and said Woo, I can see their marks oh yeah that's pure ice and it might just be this section right here I don't know but it's super steep once you start sliding you end up in somebody's living room or off the side I'm just scoot my feet so I don't slide it's not horrible but there are some pretty good ice spots. I would assume the rest of this is gonna look the same. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure where they're, they're hung up at, but maybe this will uh, thaw out sometime here if the sun peaks up over or the cabin company sends a salt truck to get this first hill. But it looks like they're safe. They've got their cabin, they're gonna be warm. There's no sense in being dangerous with it and, and I really hate to put chains chain up just to do this one if it's not uh, an extreme emergency because it'll take me forever to get my chains on just to drive this one section and come back up here and get them pulled back off when they can just kind of hang tight and, and wait for the salt truck so anyway thought I'd give you guys that little icy road excursion I'm sure this will be the first of many we've not even made it into january yet so it's cold guys we got called on this one can she get past you let's see if i can get my mirror out of the way oh my goodness I got, we've got one down here hanging off the driveway it's probably going to be a pretty nasty edge right there it's concrete doesn't look real good no. so uh, stick around, stay tuned. You get him back up, what's he gonna do? Slide the rest of the way down into the cabin? Maybe. Looks kind of steep. Hey, how y'all doing? Hello, oh, looks kind of slick. Yeah. That looks like a good one. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, we just, you know, try to just leave it right there, you know. We don't, we was gonna try to move it up. I was like, nah, let this, let the professionals do it, you know. There ain't no way to try because this morning they almost flipped. 
over, you know. And yeah, that's, I don't know. They got very lucky there, it looks yes, like. Sir. Yeah, I know. Well, they hit the tree right here, you know, because they was coming up somewhere right here, and it's going to start sliding. It hit the tree, and it kind of stopped right there. I was inside with my wife and my kids, and uh, yeah. I said, just leave it right there. Leave it right there, you know. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's going to be like right here on this spot. Uh, you can't use the two tires on this side, you know, they hit on the concrete. Yeah. Uh, I got a few straps on my toolbox. And, uh, I was going to try, you know, but I was like, no, hey, no, it's not a good idea. <laughs> but I don't know what you think, my man. I mean, you're the, you're the sure. professional right here, you know. It would be a little crazy. I don't know if we can you're... back out or... Are you going to try to go insurance claim on it, or are you? How are you going? Uh, I can tell my wife to come in outside and see what she said. Okay. Let me, let me tell her. Okay. It's uh, it's really crazy, guys. I'm really worried that I don't know how it didn't go the rest of the way over. But it did hit the tree. Let's see if I can get over here without going to the bottom of the mountain. Huh? Oh, I hear it. Snap, crackle, pop. I need a bigger hood. Huh? No, you called me um, a little bit earlier. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you you called me to come a few hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. Go down with my truck. We were ready to do it. Yeah. Uh, Can I ask you who's by since you're not hooked up yet? Yeah. Yeah, let me. Hey How you doing? It's cold. How about you? Oh. It could be better. It could be worse. It's colder at 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah. I mean, it's here. I love your truck. That is oh, thank you. Thank you. Man. Take your picture. It, it keeps warm. <laughs> I take your picture. Well, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. We've been waiting about it. You can tell him he's right here. You just tell him he yes or no or whatever. Since you're not hooked up. I mean, he's just wondering what he's going to do. I'm just saying he's here. Do you have any signal? Do y'all have any signal right here, buddy? No. It's, it's I like. I just hate for him to come all the way up here because he's going to charge me two, two to come up here, is what I talked to him. And so I could I called you again earlier, and then I got a voicemail. So I was like, "Yeah, he's probably backed up because you told me you were all backed up and stuff." Yeah. Just but then I was just trying to call somebody for it. everything froze again. Yeah. But, uh, On the uh, yeah, everybody's everybody's just hours and hours backed up, even if they even get to you. And then what, usually once the sun goes down and everything starts to freeze back over, they'll start canceling. Yeah. Let me let me call him. Have a good one, brother. I say go ahead and do it, man. I mean, I give you the money. You know, because like I said, we've been waiting on that guy. We've been waiting for at least man, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And I told her, you know, I said, man, let, just, let him do it. I mean, he's here. Yeah. You know, like you say, it's getting late, man. You know, another more hour and it's going to be froze. Yeah, all this stuff will start to freeze and then yeah, nobody. Sure. And it's just not going to be wet. Yeah, nobody will come after we'll that. So. All the way tomorrow. Yeah. But well, yeah. I wish I'd have got her phone call. I, I didn't, uh, nothing showed up from from her calling us back for the cancel, so. No, I appreciate it, man. I mean, like I say, if you here, you know, I mean, go ahead and do it. If the other yeah. guy show up, and it's the other guy who's just down the road, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're from we're, somewhere around here, too. Yeah, we're down the road, too. Yeah, oh, we're right way. here. But either yeah, way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, we're, we're here, and he's... He's still not here. He's you know, still we gotta get the truck out, no matter what, because it's gonna be frozen back again. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. As fast as we get it out, that, that, that's all that matters to me right now. I mean, if he show up, I yeah. don't know. We talk to him about it. But yeah. Like I said, I I give you the money, man. Yeah. I, I pay you for it. I'm just trying to get it out. Trying to get it out of there. Yes, sir. Whatever, whatever okay. you know, whatever it takes to get it out, just. Okay. So you want me to go ahead yes, with sir. it? Yeah. Okay. Well, they need to call and cancel the other guy. She's she's trying to call him. Cap okay. is who she's.
onto the driveway, yeah. but he's gonna stay on that driveway. You're not gonna try to pull him up. Cause this right here, it's so steep and slick. He's not gonna get out of that. Well, I mean, I could put him up here on the road if we're trying to leave, oh, but. No. Now you can leave, it needs to warm up probably. get a little pressure on it and see what it does okay. hopefully we don't need neutral or anything but I'll go here so I can see
I mean, I don't, I don't care to get it. Are you guys trying to leave? Yeah, we don't have no groceries or, and I have two 13 year old girls and they need some feminine stuff Ooh. unexpectedly. See, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think you should try it. I mean, I can set up over here and keep it close. Um, do you guys, are you guys just going to try, I, I don't know where you'll park. Yeah, that's why I, I was gonna talk to or call somebody see if I could just park right here in their driveway because whoever here is not even they're here. not here yet yeah. or maybe I don't I don't know if they've got some extra room for you to just cut the corner they, right there they totally do I wonder if yeah. I paid them like fifty dollars or something just uh yeah because that's gonna really be a no-go down yeah, there I just don't think but if y'all could if y'all could just help me get out I will I yeah will figure figure it out and okay that's like a, that's a no-go in the best of time. Yes, yeah. It's like last night, it scared me so bad. He had to get out and make sure. It's just pulling in right here is not so bad. It's just this thing. It pushes right you. Here. It pushes yeah. you right over that's to the exactly side. I mean, I yeah. yeah. I should be able to leave. Last night, that had to have been horrible. God. It was starting up. That sounds really bad. Yeah. we didn't die. We almost died this morning, though. Yeah, it's a. That's crazy. should stay that one's stuck no. a little bit of a pull but She called me, man. She called me too. She must have double called us then, because she called me earlier this morning. Yeah, she called me a couple hours ago, and I, she she just called me, man. I don't. She didn't call me back to cancel. So how was I supposed to know you were coming? I don't know. But I didn't say she didn't call. Me. Oh, you, you want me to show you my phone? No. I don't worry about it. <laughs> what? And she paid you? You're still bragging about it? God dang. It's okay. He's. he's. It's a personal thing. It's a personal thing, yeah.
anyway guys that's what happens we get we show up she called us to pull this thing out and didn't call me back to cancel so I'm here to do a job that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm gonna... I got an emergency brake on. Okay, is, are the keys in it? Uh, no. Are the keys on? You got it out? I don't even. I don't think. Uh, no, I'll walk down there. I don't want you to have to. Yeah. Um, if you want to winch me in there, I'm just gonna go neutral. If you just want to put me up here. Just be super careful right there. No, they're not in it. Okay, yeah, good, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walmart in their ice uh, shoes. You need some of those. Yeah, so he's not there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It should roll. I kicked that other one out of the way. Gosh dang, it's cold. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, you know, 10 degrees. Right it's not messing around, is it? Oh, God. Hopefully, this thing. You find you some gloves, too, dear. <laughs> You're just in an awful shape. Yeah!
down. Down? Yeah. Do I need a wing chain while I'm moving down? No. There? Keep coming. That'll work. I'm good. Sorry guys, I'm sure the view is not a good one. But I'm trying to hold the brakes too. Pretty level over there. No, it's okay. We'll just go. For, we'll just go with that. I don't like letting off over there. We'll get out of the way. What do you say about going fishing in the mountains? It's too. It's too cold for that. Too cold for fishing. Alright guys, it looks like that's it. At least it's up here. Thank you, man. You too. Yeah, that's a yes. At least it it didn't end up down there on its top. So that's the important part. That's definitely not the stuff. Okay, guys. Um, drama. I can, drama finds me, man. I don't. <laughs> I don't understand it. I really don't. So got the. Toyota out of that situation. So that lady called me two hours before any of this. She called me two hours. I said, okay, yes, I got I got a few others in front of you. I've got you on the list. Call me if anything changes. I showed up to do the thing and apparently she called Caps about 45 minutes. He said it gave him 45 minutes. I don't know what it was, but she, she didn't call me back to cancel. And obviously she didn't call him back to cancel. But uh, Cap was upset with me, saying I was stealing his calls. And I, it's the same for both of us, so I'm not sure Cap watches the channel. But if you do, uh, you know you were mad, you drove off, you didn't want to, you didn't want to talk to me. But I'm here to tell you, I'm not stealing your calls. It works the same for me. I showed up. Why should I walk away? I drove all the way over here, the same as as he did. Uh, so and she didn't call me back to cancel. So why should I? Why should I walk away from, from a job? And then on, on top of it all, she paid him. Yeah. She paid him too, just because he came in and he's still, he's still upset with me. It's like, we're, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I just want to point out that if we had just stumbled upon her and she said, oh, I've got caps coming, then we would have left. Yeah, no problem. And, and, and I do that. I, I would never step on anybody's toes, but, uh, yeah, it's 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 crazy. I don't I don't know why in the world he'd be so upset. You know, like I said, I, I did the same thing he did. Why why would I want to drive all the way up there for nothing, risking my truck in the snow and ice? And and you know, it's it's no different. So just more drama, guys. You know, it's it's been I don't know. I guess everybody's on edge because of the holiday. I don't know really what's going on, but I've had a lot of crazy stuff. You know last night he was 
he was everywhere. He was hanging on my boom. He was laying down in front of the truck. <laughs> he was trying to argue with me through my window. He jumped in the car, set the e-brake, and locked it back. And he was trying everything. And all he had to do was pay the drop fee. But yeah, something, it must be a full moon. Something's in the air. Let's see if we can uh, come back down this salt. Man, I have never seen this much salt used in Sevier County or Gatlinburg or... So I'm just gonna say they were trying to be proactive, which is fantastic. Yeah, the roads look great. So um, big thanks to the uh, street department. Oh, uh, you know they worked all night long. And uh, another big shout out to the uh, uh, to the electric company you guys mm -hmm. it was it was roaring in so it was four degrees and 50 mile an hour winds and those guys got our power turned back on at like three o'clock in the morning yeah. like that's you guys are amazing that's just incredible that's amazing and then Kendra's power went out a few minutes after that because the transformer caught on fire and blew and they had her power back on in less than two hours it's just amazing like after I, a transformer caught on fire yeah yeah it was super bad and super cold yeah we don't uh, i don't work a fraction of of the crazy hard work is that and that's that's just really amazing yes. hopefully they get paid very well because i hope so they deserve they're, it they're saving lives yes i mean we got i had just hundreds of phone calls you know i'm I'm sleeping in my car, I'm froze, I've got 10 kids, and I've got a 15 passenger bus. I had several of those phone calls. So, uh, you know, they're, they're the power company, keeping people warm. We appreciate you guys. But anyway, we're headed back down Ski Mountain. I had a couple others that uh, I'm not sure we can get to. We'll see what the road conditions look like and, uh, and go from there. But stick around, stay tuned. We appreciate you guys watching.